We're already suffering with the WAPA bills and the you know, high rents and really tourism isn't, I haven't seen the tourism increase that everyone's talking about. So we're trying to play catch up and this is not going to help any. If you look out on Raditz God, it's already a ghost town on the street. So imagine when they start digging. But that digging will begin as soon as Saturday in order for the Virgin Islands Water and Power Authority to keep a $1.6 million FEMA grant. The timing is what's rough. This is when we have the most tourists. It would have been beneficial if they had started this perhaps in August or September in the time when there really aren't a lot of people here. WAPA originally hoped to sync their construction with Public Works downtown revitalization project. However, FEMA declined an extension and set a June 29th deadline to lay underground electrical cables. And because the two projects could not be combined, some roads like Ranitskada will be dug up twice. Business owners say they were told Ranitskada would only be foot traffic for up to four months and could be closed to vehicles entirely for several weeks. And many only just found out in yesterday's emergency meeting about the plans. Others heard from word of mouth. It's nice to have some more information on exactly what's happening. Uh, we're kind of just kind of just out to hang to, you know, what comes was what comes rather than any information ahead of time so we can pre-plan for it. But there is some optimism. The street looks quite shabby and sometimes people are fearful of coming down Raditzgata. So having a nice new road will help business in the future. In any business, if you want to improve your environment, and to increase your business, um, you have to, you know, there come sacrifices. While WAPA's work must be completed by June, that's when public works will begin theirs. After the Market Square construction is finished, they will tear up Main Street piecemeal starting at the Enid Ba Library, working east to the post office, rebuilding roads, sidewalks, and installing new sewer lines. For News 2, I'm Erica Bivens.